Okay, I have been told that all the journalists... The president's bill is great, and as you know, it's not that different from the bill that Senator McCain and I worked in the Senate with a gang of uh, eight. Dick Durbin was a member of it. Um, And so we're going to try to do everything we can for as bold an immigration bill as we can get, plain and simple. We'll see where our Republican colleagues are. It's a challenge, and the new administration deserves an opportunity to respond to it. And I think it's going to be part of the conversation about immigration. Let's assume for a second they're successful in doing it. In six weeks from now, we don't have a situation that's as challenging as the one today. Does that mean the Republicans will come forward for immigration reform? I'm not sure. But I think we need to deal with this reality at the border. I said to the administration, come forward with your plan. Mayorkas is testifying maybe tomorrow in the House of Representatives. uh, And I'm looking forward to what his suggestions are. We want to work together. My... uh My strongest desire is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. I've felt that way since 2013 when the House blocked it. And we'll do everything we can to explore that area. Um, The House hasn't sent us the comprehensive bill yet. Uh, They're in the process of sending us other legislation. We want to get do do as much as we can to uh, make immigrants welcome in America, to make sure that America uh, integrates Im- immigrants into our system of government, and we'll keep fighting to get as bold and strong a bill as we can. Yes. As I've said, uh, New York State, under this COVID crisis, needs safe and uh, he, they need secure and safe and strong leadership. The women have come forward. I'm proud they have. They've made some serious allegations, and they should be listened to. Because the governor, because of these allegations, the governor has lost the confidence of his governing partners and of many New Yorkers, and he should step down.